guys, welcome back to another Homemade on the Farm. I guess that's what I'm calling this episode. I don't know. Anyway, today I thought I would show you how to make a uh, ricotta. It's a form of ricotta. It's not a true Italian ricotta, but it is good enough for most recipes. Um, out of extra milk that you might have laying around. And it's super easy, and all you need is milk, vinegar, a source of heat, and um, cheesecloth to hang it and let the liquids kind of drip out. So today I'm going to start with this. Okay, I've got three half gallon jars of milk. So this is a gallon and a half of milk that I'm going to be using. Um, it's full fat. You can actually do this with skim milk to get rid of your extra skim milk um, if you decide to make butter or do something else with the cream. But because I need the jars more than I actually need the milk, I'm going to just use whole milk. So I'm going to open these into this large pot and then we're going to get it heated up to 170 degrees. What we're looking for here is kind of a yellowish fluid on top of this clumpiness. If it still looks really milky, you can add more vinegar. It won't, it won't hurt it. The vinegar, basically the acid, when it gets heated up, helps the, helps the proteins in the curd tighten up, which squeezes the whey out. So the yellow fluid is whey. See there on top, kind of, and then down inside of here is your little curds of ricotta. Oh, can you see them? That's what we want. We want them to look about like that. Just little teeny tiny little kind of, I don't know, grains of ricotta. All right, now we let this sit without messing with it for eh, 10 minutes or so. And that helps the heat that's still in the fluid helps to keep squeezing those curds tighter and tighter to squeeze more of the way out so that when we hang it in the cheesecloth, it uh, dries, dries and drains a little bit faster. Okay, so now we have our curds in the cloth, the cheesecloth, and you can see it's a fairly solid ball of, of curds here. And you can basically just put this in a Ziploc and throw it in the fridge and use it like this, you know, crush it up with a fork when you're going to use it, um, or even cut it almost into like a cheese. You can like cut up into slices and put on salads, something like that. It's a really sweet, mild cheese. What I like to do, because I have a food processor, is I like to put it in there and go ahead and just pulverize it. 
and sometimes I'll put some cream when I do this so that it makes it a nice smooth consistency so that when you scoop it up and put it in other foods um, it has this really nice nice texture so let's do a little bit of that first you have to do a little bit at a time okay we'll start with that Okay, so you can see here, there's a funny angle for me, that now it's very very uh, loose, right? That works pretty good, but I like to add a little bit of cream just to give it more of a true ricotta consistency. Now you can see it's much smoother, more creamier, just like the stuff you buy at the store. It's not exactly like ricotta you'd buy at the store, but it sure is close enough. Now you can salt this if you want and make it kind of a salty cheese, or you can just leave it like this and use it for like, my favorite thing to use ricotta for is to make um, lemon ricotta pancakes. They are absolutely delicious and I will add the recipe somewhere here on this video so you can see how to make them and maybe try this yourself at home. Another thing you can do with it, like I've said before, is you can use it in ravioli and in lasagna, all kinds of stuff. You can spread it on uh, toast. It's really good that way, too. So hopefully you guys have some ideas and you're going to try something like this at home. It's easy enough, as you saw, basically three ingredients, not even three ingredients, really. Um, and boom, you've got something fun to work with and make fun uh, at home meals to impress your family. All right. See you guys later. Bye.